And so he did so much research. He researched all over the world things that work for long-term weight loss. Okay. And what he did was he contacted the National Weight Control Registry. Has anybody heard of the National Weight okay. Most people haven't. But what the National Weight Control Registry was developed and set up by a few professors at the University of Colorado. And how cool is this? They said, you know what? We kind of know what doesn't work. But what we really haven't gotten yet is, what works? And how will we know? Well, why don't we ask people who have lost 60 pounds or more and kept it off for at least five years, let's ask them what they're doing. And let's see if we can find some correlations. And then we can use those to say, this works, right? So that's what they did. And they ended up finding that, here's an interesting thing, there was no real correlation between which diet they used to lose their weight. Okay, some people ate low fat, some people ate low carbs, some people just watched their calories, okay? There was no, it didn't really matter. That wasn't a big correlation. But there were six specific behaviors that were absolutely consistent. And so Dr. Anderson put those into an acronym that we use as our overall umbrella in our optimal health program. And so we call it the Be Slim philosophy. And I'll just do it real quickly, just to kind of show you these are what we call the habits of health. B is for breakfast, okay? Again, we know everybody that kept their weight off, we gotta eat breakfast, okay? E is for exercise. Okay, now one of the things that we now know, lots of study, I'm here to confirm it, I believe it in my own practice. We have some other great trainers in here. If you disagree, please feel free to disagree with me. But what we have found is that if people have a lot of weight to lose, really tough to do it with just exercise. Okay, it just is. The numbers aren't there. You'd have to run 25 marathons in a year to burn off the amount of fat. It does not work for that, but it is absolutely essential for long-term health and for long-term weight management. Okay, and so Dr. Anderson has a beautiful way that he puts it in where we start, if you are not an exercise person and have not been, trying to get more movement in your day, and then putting together a progressive exercise program. And some of the trainers in here work with their clients on that too, just beautiful. So we know long-term essential, okay? S, support. That was the whole support system that we were talking about. And of course, we have the health coaches there for support. L is eating six small, low-fat, balanced meals a day. Gosh darn, it just works. It works beautifully when you can do that. I is for individualization. And so, you know, in working with a lot of people, what we find is that most people love and do great on what we call the five-in-one program and can do that. We do have some people, especially if you are exercising heavily or have some other issues going on, we have other programs and ways that we can customize them for you. Whether somebody has a, um, two lean and greens and four of the meal replacements, etc. We do have products specific for heart health, specific for women going through perimenopause to help with those symptoms, specific for joint health. So we have a really nice individualized program. And M is, I think, one of the also just essentials, and that is monitoring, right? Monitoring in whatever way works for you. Okay, monitoring where your weight is. Now, I have some female clients that are obsessive about the scale. That's not something that I really advocate, okay? Because I think you can focus too much on that and it can become a negative, okay? So, but monitor meaning whether it is you weigh once a week or twice a week so that you know where you're at. Because how many of us, right, can go right to that river called denial, right? It's like, oh no, no, I'm really, oh no, I'm still 150 till we go to the doctor, we get on the scale, and there it is. Okay, we can't, it's like, oh my God, I have no idea. Because we really can, the mind can do that to us. So being very clear about where we're at and having a plan so that if we get up five pounds from that ideal weight, those alarm bells go off and it's like we're back on. And we're back
back on, we're going to get back on. It's a heck of a lot easier, right, to get back on there than to let it just keep going and keep going. Okay, so monitoring is so important. I always love it when I start to work with people, and then this is really more, I think, a female thing, and I'll say to somebody when they start, okay, now, before you start, first thing in the morning, okay, weigh yourself, and then I want you to stay off the scale for a week, and they laugh. Everybody laughs. Right, are you kidding? Three hours later, they're on the scale. Oh my God, I dropped two pounds. So, and the reason that I say that, and I really highly recommend, highly recommend, really, on the first week, wait for a week, okay? Because there are fluid fluctuations, things that go on throughout the week, and I don't want you going, oh my gosh, okay, it's three days into it and I've only lost a pound. Or I'm down five pounds, but the seventh, day, you know, the sixth day I'm up two pounds. What a, I had one man, you guys will love this, one man that um, he, he was a scale guy, go figure. And at five days he had lost, I'm sorry ladies, but this was his story, okay? He'd lost nine pounds. Oh my thrilled, 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 right? And on the seventh day, he hadn't lost any more. He called me, he was angry. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, this is food. All, all you're doing is paying for your food, which you would pay for anyway. But you still have the cost, huge cost of medications. I don't care if you have insurance. Co-payments, $60, $70, okay? You get off a couple medications, how much is that a month?